MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Here it's the second of this three-game set between the Washington Nationals and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Trevor Williams, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub 1.30 whip coming into this start, which tells me he throws strikes. He's not afraid to get the ball in the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if he can string together some real quality innings in this one. Here now is Trey Turner, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty, if they're going to clean up their recent trend right now, they're going to have to find a way for it to start on the mound. They can't go out like last game and allow a bunch of runs and not play sound defense behind them. Both those things are going to have to change if this team's going to get it going in the right direction. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. Here it is, the 3 0. Oh. It is taken, strike one. Finally got one over. Nothing worse than starting the game with a four pitch walk. Three and one pitch. Two pitch mix here. If you're in the batter's box, you're looking for something up. Sink or change up right here. Got to get it up. And he lays off ball four, and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. And now for Washington, Howie Kendrick. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the National League batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. First pitch of the at-bat. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, d -Row, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. And there he goes towards second. That's a strike. The throw down is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. He's not going to feel good about that at bat nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. Juan Soto to the plate now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Enters play here at 279. 17 home runs, and he's driven in 45. Rounded up the first baseline, but uh, this will get foul for strike two. And another foul ball. Turner, the runner at second with one away. And he misses there, one and two. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Oh, 
And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Full count, here it comes. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eric Thames. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. First pitch of the at-bat. Strike taken up in the zone. Runners are at first and second with one away. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. That is it. The third baseman. Darwin Castro. Here's Starlin Castro. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Good bike to the slider, and he takes strike one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Castro has a 280 batting average. Ready with the 0 and 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. So a three run blast to straight away left. Eighth home run on the season for him. As the Nats move out in front now, three to nothing. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Victor Robles digging in now. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. I think this inning could have far reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. 2-0 to the Two and national out. center fielder. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. 2-0 pitch on the way. Down the first baseline. Bell brings it in, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. But the Nationals strike for three, all coming via this three-run home run. On to the bottom of the first, it's 3-0 Washington. Joe Ross is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Nationals. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Now at the play, Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the Pirates, the second baseman, Kevin Newman. Pitch on the way. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. A 1 1 count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. So, guys, these Nationals, as they interplay here tonight, 4 and 2 over their last six games, including a win last time out. Maddie, this team is oozing confidence right now. They were playing well coming into this game. And what do they do right out of the shoot, top of the first throw, a three spot up on the board? They got the opposition on their heels. Good 
good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. That's a big knock right there for his confidence. He had seen it. He, you walk into the plate, you know you're averaging dip below 220 for the first time in a long time. Nice A.B. So here's Adam Frazier as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And that's through into left field for a base hit. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, dear, well, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. Up next for the Buckos, Brian Reynolds. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. On the stretch. Yeah. The O one. Oh, that's off the plate. None out, runners at first and second. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The one two hit weakly back to the mound. To second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Stepping in, Josh Bell, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 1-0. Nope. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. The 2 1. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Men on third with two down. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Robles looking up. If you don't need to meet, you can't have any pudding. How can you have any pudding if you don't need to meet? Two runs on the board after that home run by Josh Bell. Number 21 for him on the season. And the Buckos have made this a 3-2 ball game. Well, they were a lot more comfortable up three than they are now, only up by one. That just goes to show you one pitch, one two-run shot, and the entire complexion of a game can change just like that.
So now to the plate, Colin Moran. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Ross isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. The one and two pitch. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Gregory Polanco would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The three two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in time and the side is retired. But the Pirates do get a couple here on this two run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ryan Zimmerman. Here's the first pitch to him. No balls in one strike. Zimmerman, or just simply Zim, his contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Chopped to third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting it. The catcher, Jan Gold. Striding in now for the Nats, Jan Gomes. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. In there, no balls and a strike. Strike two called on the inner half. 0 oh 2 now. Bases are empty, one man out. And strike three called on the outside corner. He's earned the right to live out there with the fastballs as that's out number two. Well, that call looked that like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. First pitch of the at-bat. And they'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1-0. and oh. One and one the count. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington, but they still lead it three to two. Here's 
Here's Gregory Polanco. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Not short stop. Number 44. So stepping in, Kevin Kramer. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. One out, nobody on. Line, but speared on a hop. On to first, and there were two down. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First pitch on its way. Help 1 and 0. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We've played two full. The Nationals are out in front here, three to two. Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and starting out the inning the exciting speedster Trey Turner. First pitch coming here it is. There's a breaking ball but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Ball two now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Three and oh now. Just a little bit off to start the third. Now that's three straight balls. The three oh pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Frazier moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first down. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. In now, Howie Kendrick. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0. Ball two. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Now the 2-0. Slow roller down the third baseline. But a foul ball, and it's 2-1 and one now. This is line to left. Frazier is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. 
Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Riding in once again, Juan Soto. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Now here's the pitch. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Third inning, already a 3 2 ball game. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Nationals gone in order, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Trevor Williams, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Trevor Williams. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Inside, ball one. Popped him up. Castro is there. He's got it one away. Now back. The second baseman. Now back. New man. Ready for another chance? Kevin Newman. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Line drive to center field. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump, but this guy was too good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseball. So that gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. First pitch, he'll look to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. He's set. Here it comes. On a line, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Check out the lefty as he absolutely jumps on that first pitch and hammers it to right. Got what he was looking for and put a good swing on it. To the plate now, Brian Reynolds. He grounds it sharply to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way after the mound to pay a quick visit. So that'll bring up Josh Bell as he'll watch a sinker here that misses its ball one. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 oh count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. From the stretch. Swung on and belted. Get out the rye bread and mustard, Grandma. It's great. 
it's salami time. Josh Bell has just clubbed a milestone home run of sorts. It's the 100th of his career. Well, obviously, it's not easy hitting home runs, Matt, especially at this level. 100 home runs is nothing to scoff at, so I'm sure he'll be proud of this accomplishment when he gets to really think about it after a game, and you know he'll want that ball to hold on to. Colin Moran lifted down the line in left. Long run for the left fielder, and no one will track it down. The 0 1. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And this is a strike three call. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Stepping into the box, Gregory Polanco. Gregory Polanco. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nope. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Hit down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. And now pitch on the way. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. But four score for the Buckos on this Grand Slam home run. We played three full as they've doubled up now. It's six to three. All set for the start of the fourth. And in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Pitch on the way. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in, and out. Throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. And he fouls this one off. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 1-2 delivery. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And that is through into right field for a single. Now back, the third baseman, Starling Castro.
So here's Starlin Castro as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And he falls behind now 2 and 0. Oh. I wonder if that homer rattled him a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against him this time around. Now the 2 0. -oh. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And a swing through on an off speed pitch. Looked like he was actually a little late on that one. Swing and a liner. And that is down as that could be two bases. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Now baseball's a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. In now, Victor Robles. As he'll take a look at ball one. Three runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Up top, it's 2-0. Stephen Brault comes in unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. Two well count the pitch grounded to short. He's got it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Now batter, the first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's set and the pitch down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Four runs, only three hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. Count even at one and one to the Nationals' first baseman. As a look, now the pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two heading out towards shallow right on the move is Polanco. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now back. So two are gone now in the Nationals fourth and that means the catcher Jan Gomes bats next. First pitch coming, here it is. One oh. Now the one oh. Two out here and a runner at second. 
And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Three and one to Jan Gomes. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a 3-1 count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Sent on the ground out to second. Newman's got it. Throw on to Bell at first and his side is retired. Only one in the inning for the Nationals. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Pirates six and the Nationals four. And welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. Well, Matt, I talked with Pittsburgh's manager during the inning break about the Pirates' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they've done a nice job of keeping their swings inside the strike zone and not chasing after pitches they can't do much with. The numbers say their chase rate in this game is under 25%. And with a bunch of runs on the board right now, that could be a big reason why. Thank you, Heidi. Way to go. Striding in, Kevin Kramer. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Strike one to start the at bat. 0 and 1, here it comes. And he lays off for ball one. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, Earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Mm, right down the shoot that time, one and two. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Lays off two and two now. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they've had some good at bats against him all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. At the plate now, Jacob Stallings. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the 0 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. This is on the ground over to first. There's one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings. And there are two away now. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Base is empty now after the double play. And next will be the pitcher, Stephen Brault. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey. The 0 1. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a one and two count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard sinker misses two and two. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. A 
all even at two and two. Here it is. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard down the line. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, man, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Into the box now, Kevin Newman. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And it's 1 and 1. Well, that sinker is normally a really important pitch for him, but it really hasn't been effective so far. It just looks kind of flat. The 1 1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for Pittsburgh. They're up six to four. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch, and that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message, as now they've gotten into the bullpen, and they put up some solid run production in the early part of this Ladies game. And gentlemen, All right, thanks, Heidi. Kurt Suzuki will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. 258, the average to begin play. Two home runs and 21 driven in. The 0 1 on its way. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. Hit out towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So with this day over now, you get a look at the final pitching line for the Pittsburgh starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Well, this certainly wasn't what they were looking for in this one. They were hoping to get some innings, but you could see right from the get-go, he just didn't have it in this one. Lasting only three innings. A lot of outs now to get from that bullpen. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Changeup, called strike one. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's 1 and 2. Ball 2. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count. Got to feel like it's a win for the offense. The 2 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Polanco. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Dan, after that base hit right there, we're talking about two full weeks 
of finding a way to be productive and get a knock. Good to think about that. You think how hard it is to get a base hit in a, in a professional baseball game, and for him to be able to do it 14 consecutive days in a row. As a pitcher, you have to just tip your cap to this guy. First things first, here's a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. Here's Howie Kendrick and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one. Throw over to first and he'll get back in standing. Set and the 1 0 pitch. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Runner at first here, one man out. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. Kendrick waiting now the pitch outside and low three and zero. Oh. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by though as a hitter. Three and one to Howie Kendrick. One swing and a blooper to the right side. Polanco coming on. He can't get to it. This one's down, and that runner will go no further than second. As there are two aboard now. Here now is Juan Soto. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in the strike. 0 for one with a run scored thus far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Frazier is over to his right and he puts this one away for out number two. The right fielder, number nine, Eric Fain. Digging in and looking for more, Eric Thames. A fly out and a single for him so far. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Thames is slugging north of 480, which puts him among some of the best power hitters in the game in that category. Nope. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Thames behind one and two. with the one and two. Two, and two. two men are on with two men out. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly and the inning is over. Nats leave a pair. The score remains steady at six to four. Rowena Salias, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Rowena Elliott. Digging in once again, Adam Frazier. He singled his last time up. No one feels it. Adam Frazier. Here's the first pitch to him. In there, strike one. All ones account. Yeah, 
outside for a ball one and one and some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left hander and a right hander throwing. The one one. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Two and two to Adam Frazier. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. The two two is laid off, and the count runs full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Come on. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. And there are the final numbers for the Washington starter. And clearly he was off his game this evening. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. And a fastball is in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Pitch on the way. Oh, that's good. Low ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. So a runner on first with one out now. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. This is a close one so far, but really go back to that last at bat. That grand slam he hit really kept him in this game. Here's the first pitch to him. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. This is where you step out, adjust the batting gloves, and take a deep breath. You have to slow the moment down. I know you want to be a hero, but that pitch right there, a great executed changeup, had this batter way out in front. The 0 and 1 delivery. I got a ball, one strike. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Relay to Zimmerman, the double play to end the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More from MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Starlin Castro will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line in left. And that's a fair ball as it'll head for the 325 sign down the line. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Up next for the when it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. 
Stepping in now, Victor Robles. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now the 1 0. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. From the belt, the pitch. And this one's over at the knees, two and one. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. Next to Washington, the first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. Ready for another shot now, Ryan Zimmerman. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. With runners in scoring position this season, Zimmerman brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Zimmerman now waiting the 1 0. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Sent on the ground out to second, and that's through a base hit. He'll come home with it. And he will score on a close play at the plate, and that'll make it a little more interesting now. It's six to five. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side and the offensive side, to send him. And the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw, but that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And they take the lead. It's gone. It's a two run shot to straight away left seven home runs for him on the year now as they move out in front seven to six. Well we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts guys. Yeah Matty B. Hey you know what Dero. This is a pretty good pitchers ballpark B and C in Pittsburgh. What an impressive hitting performance by that lineup. This part it definitely caters to the left-handed hitter with that wall in right field you feel like you can book one into the Allegheny not the same for a right-handed hitter big left center gap and center field plays deep Nick Birdie a right-handed reliever standing 6-3 gets the ball now out of the bullpen didn't quite catch the zone there ball one the average sitting right at 270 on the year seven homers and 31 RBIs now the 1 0 misses for the second ball I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate he circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today he's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Two and one now. Now here it comes. To two and two now.
And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang-bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Now here's the pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. And he watches one miss outside, 2 0 oh now. Now it looks like a right hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. The 2 0 -oh on the way. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Stepping up now, Howie Kendrick. Last time through was a base hit. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Three runs already home here. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. That's wide, 2-0. Oh. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch. Two balls and a strike. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2-0, and oh, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. And it's fouled away. This one's flared off to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. now you got to be frustrated if you're on the mound. You try and go elevated heater right there and blow some cheese by him, and he's able to scramble it and drive it the other way for a base hit. Nice job by the hitter to get the barrel to that base ball. Standing in now, Juan Soto, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Both teams have nine hits on the scoreboard. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot he's going to get a challenge pitch right here the 2 1 pitch He turns this one around high and deep to center field. Reynolds is on the move for it, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And the runner will score from second. 
He pulls into third safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Yeah, when that left his bat, I thought it was out of here for a three-run shot, but to his credit, he didn't hesitate or break into that home run trot. He busted it out of the box and was thinking triple all the way. Well done. So now to the plate, Eric Thames, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. change up there as he takes command 0 and 2. I know he's been struggling early but that pitch right there well executed change up if he can mix that in maybe he hangs around for a little while longer. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate however five of them score. The five, six, and seven slots do up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Nationals nine and the Pirates six. Josh Taylor enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the six. Now pitching for the Nationals. Number 72, Josh Taylor. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. The third baseman, Colin. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right hander begins to get loose. A 1 1. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now that right fielder, Gregory Polanco. Digging in to try it again, Gregory Polanco. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch popped up. Zimmerman is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. The batter, number 44. At the plate, Kevin Kramer. First pitch of the at bat. Now a flare out to left center. Left fielder coming in. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another now example. And up. even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages Go another away. base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Into the box, Jacob Stallings. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Oh, and one, here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Pirates leave one. They don't make any headway, still down nine to six.
Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. You Robbie Erlin will come on to pitch he now as he'll move into the eighth players. spot in the lineup now on the double switch here. Luke Maley will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Starlin Castro. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's out. One oh home and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield and there's the first out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Digging in Victor Robles 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yeah. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. And he buries a breaking ball that time. Good pitch, and it's 0-2. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. He takes the turn and heads for second. And that will hop over the wall now as he'll be awarded second base here. It's a ground rule double. Ryan Zimmerman. In now, Ryan Zimmerman. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One ball, one strike. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first takes care of Zimmerman for the second out of the inning. Now back, Pepper, Young, Young. Jan Gomes will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch of the at bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reynolds is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble Nationals leave one they won't add to their nine six lead. Tanner Rainey gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tanner Rainey. Here's the catcher Luke Maley. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Now the pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The 1 0. Taken on the inside corner for strike one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. 
really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Into the box now, Kevin Newman, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball just missed above the zone. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Now the 2 1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Adam Frazier waits on deck. The 3-2 pitch. Line hard to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. He can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh Adam Frazier first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better. Now here's the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 2-0. Fastball three. Brian Reynolds would be next. Three and no count. Here it comes. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Two out, nobody on. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Pirates. They don't make any headway. Still down nine to six. Michael Taylor is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Number three, Michael A. Taylor. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 
Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The batter. The court time now for our starter play. comparison, and that tells the story, as you can see. Neither guy able to get past five innings. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. First delivery to him on the way. Counts one and Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. A ball and a strike now. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. One out, nobody on. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Waiting on deck is Howie Kendrick. Now the payoff pitch home. This is line to left, and that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. I don't know how he got to that fastball right there. That looked like the old Tommy Hawk approach back in the 60s and 70s getting to that one. Stepping in now, Howie Kendrick as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Runner back standing. Now it's 2-0. and oh. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Runners on first with one down. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game. But that being his third knock, I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. From the belt, the pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. The white fielder, number nine, Eric Crane. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. There's ball one. Sorry, 
Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And to score the runner from second. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four and you know that save situation's gone out the window. Don't tell me that didn't hurt. Oh, oh it does hurt. Oh, oh it does because <laughs> Dero, the only way you're going to get into this Number game is it has to be a save situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball, you get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all ready to go thinking, hey, I'm going to come in and get me a three-out save, and all of a sudden you're out of the game because it's a four-run lead. Of course you think about it as a reliever. At the plate, Starlin Castro as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Go back to DC. Nope. And that misses one and one. Two down runners at first and second. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Victor Robles would be next. Two men are on with two men out. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Victor Robles. His career numbers against this pitcher, he's one for two. From the stretch. Looking at his career totals, Robles brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Oh, up around the chin there. 2 0. Oh. If you're hitting in this situation, you have to look one spot, and that is all. This guy is really scuffling out on the mound. The bases are loaded. 2 0 count. He's all over the place. One spot. If it's not there, you have to take. Two balls and a strike. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a called strike. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Bases are loaded here, two down. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Has to challenge him now. Here's the pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to now chase, that. but... He laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. So coming to the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt. Down five. Another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. Ready. Here's the first offering. 
at the ball. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. The 1-0 is looked at for the first strike. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Two out, bases loaded. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. One and two, here it comes. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they wind up with two in the inning, but it could have been a lot worse as they leave the bases loaded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Nationals lead it 11 to 6. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Daniel Hudson win. is in out of the beat, bullpen beat, now as he'll be inserted into the number six now, spot beat, following the double switch. Andrew four, Stevenson is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, center. hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 17. Leading off the inning, Brian Reynolds, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Ball one to start the at-bat. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Here it comes. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Stevenson is there and he has it for the first out. Up next to the pilot. The first base pick. Jump. Coming to the plate now, Josh Bell. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball in there for a called strike. Hudson has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and with an ERA in the fives has some work to do to bring it down into a more respectable range. Bases are empty one man out. Fouled off. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. to the plate now Colin Moran fouled away he's hitless in three at bats to this point mm -hmm. 
ball one. The 1-1 one, one now from Hudson. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. They're down five. It's 11 to six. Blake Cedarland enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready now, Jan Gomes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Leading off with the natural, the catcher, Jan Gomes. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, one's the count. Oh, one. All one as he lays off below the zone. Fall behind now to one and two. Now the pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you can spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Into the box, Andrew Stevenson. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. set and the 0 1 drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third Moran is over and he tucks it away for the back second out play Turner now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Trey Turner he reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring first pitch on its way a ball and no strikes a one and one count to the Nationals leadoff batter. Bases are empty here with two men out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reynolds is on the move for it. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Washington, and it's still an 11 6 ball game. Austin Voss, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Austin Voss. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Gregory Polanco. Gregory Polanco. Here comes the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Nope. 1 and 1. And 
And now pitch on the way. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Now the pitch. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. The two two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Now Stepping into the box, Kevin Kramer. He's two for three thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Yeah. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. The two one home. Ball three. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. This is pulled into right. Thames is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone number here in the ninth. Number 62. Boy. Eric Gonzalez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number two, Eric. Ball one. The average sits at 294, four home runs, and 15 RBIs. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Two balls and two strikes now. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Take a look at this right here. He didn't get jumpy and try and pull it down the left field line. Stayed in there, fought hard, and grinded out a nice knock the other way. At the plate now, Luke Maley. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 0 home. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Goodbye home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Third home run for him on the year, and just like that, it's down to a three-run ball game. Sean Doolittle comes out of the. Ball. 
bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Number 53. So now to the plate, Kevin Newman, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. In his career, Newman carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Now the 1 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. The 1 1. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. 2-2, Two -two, here it is. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. You might think it's just another win but it's awfully hard to win in this game especially on the road but they find a way to get it done and they should be very happy with this performance. 11 to 8 the final score in this ball game. The Nationals wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Rowena Salias wins in relief for the eighth time this year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for the ballgame tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals 11 runs on 14 hits. No error. They left eight men on base. For the Pirates, eight runs on 12 hits. No error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game. Four hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.